Now, former Law Society of Kenya President uh, James Agri Mwamu has called for transparency in the forthcoming elections for the lawyer's body. Mwamu is contesting for the NSK president's position, says there are glaring signs the election could be marred by malpractice or external interference leading to injustices. Mwamu also wants the voters' registers audited to remove names of dead NSK members. The NSK election will be held on the 22nd of February. We have received information that there are over 1,600 uncollected LSK identity cards and are apprehensive that they may be used in the voting process, illegally if not distributed to the owners immediately. The candidates demand that the said IDs be dispatched to the respective branch chairpersons for the purpose of distribution to their owners on or before the 15th of January 2018. The ones whose owners have not collected must be kept in safe custody at a place accepted to all candidates after verification. We also demand an, auditor, an audit of the voters' register to ensure that the names of the deceased members have been deleted from the said register and that the said register be made available on or before the 15th of January 2018 to all the candidates and members, that all the candidates must be allowed to verify the register at least by 20th of January without fail. We want to warn and put of notice the Deputy President of LSK who is also the chairperson of staff and finance against interfering with the electoral process and manipulating the same. We have credible information that she's been exerting pressure and giving certain directions to the chief executive and the secretariat staff to manipulate the process in favor of certain candidates. Together with the council members, one Alex Gatundu and Dorothy Chematol, they are putting unnecessary pressure on the CEO to favor some candidates whom they want to impose on the law society. We call upon the CEO to reject such kind of advances and pressure. We demand that the council looks into the issue and take action against such activities to ensure that the election is free and fair.